face value and place value. All right, this place has value. Let's do this. We've got these 10 symbols called digits, and we arrange digits into numbers. How's that work? Here's the big idea. We can think about digits in two ways, face value, place value. The face value is the value of the digit all by itself. Just name the digit, five, three, two. The place value is the value of its place in the number. Just name the place, tens, ones. The five digit has the same face value here and here. There's five of something in each number. The place value changes what it's worth though. 15 is a lot smaller than 51. In the tens place, the five represents 50. Each place is worth 10 times more than the one to its right. 10 ones make a 10. 10 times 10 is 100. And it takes 10 hundreds to make a thousand. Get to know this chart. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. So math questions. What's the place value of five in this number? What number does that digit represent? Well, first find it. Then recall the place names. Ones, tens, hundreds. Its place value is hundreds. Face value is five. So that five digit represents 500. What's the place value of three in these numbers? Ones, thousands, hundreds. Can you do it without the chart? Practicing with notes and then right away without them is a good way to stretch your brain. Don't just remember the answer though. Remember how you got it. Then you'll be able to do ones you don't know. That's the basics. We'll talk about it a little more in the next lesson.